Hey guys, welcome to the uh, first of my tutorials for Windows 7 Forms. Um, I'm actually going to be showing you how to create your first application in Windows 7 Forms. Uh, I'll be using Visual Studio 2012, um, which is it's quite nice. It's nicer than 2010 looked. It's a lot more bright and a little more encouraging. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to show you how to create your first project. So once you've installed it, um, you'll have all the Windows Forms tools all installed for you. So the first thing we'll just do is going to select the Windows Form application. But won't bother changing the name for now. And just click OK. So this will create your basic form, and it will <coughs> give you your grounds to start to start building. So the first kind of things that we're going to look at are the simple things like changing the name of your um, window when it when you run it. So at the moment it's at form one. So if you just click on it and go down to where it says text, you can just change it from form one and just change it to my application. As you can see, it changes at the top. Um, obviously, you can resize these windows. You can set them here, you can um, decide whether or not you want to fix the size of them if you want them to be locked or if you want people to be able to move it, because at the moment if we debug the application you'll see that you can actually expand, you know, kind of like change the size of the form, but there are ways to, to lock it so that you have it set to one size, otherwise people can start moving around your content um, and start cutting it off the page and stuff. Um, you can also set it to automatic so that it kind of changes to resolutions and sort of things like that, but well, the basic things we're going to do for the starters is I've just shown you how to create your first application, how to run it, um, changing the name. You can obviously do other things like um, you can change the colors. So if we go to background color, just change this to know, this this color, this nice blue color. Um, you can also set an image, and you know, there's all this, all the standard kind of stuff. Um, but one of the things I'll also show you to start with is um, just using simple things like a label. So if you put a label in on the page, just just drag in from the tools and plonk it down. Um, you can set the text of this label um, in the properties of it, and you can you can set it to say something. So um, my label, um, but you can also set it in the code. So if you if you double click on the form, um, it will actually take you straight to the code and put in the form load for you. So as soon as the form is loaded, it will then run your piece of code. Um, to make just for a simple example, at the moment it's still we've we've left our label called label one. So if I if we change that now, uh, actually no, we'll leave it as we'll leave it as label one. Um, but you can obviously change the name of it here. Um, but we'll leave ours as label one because we're not going to be doing too much. Uh, and if you wanted to set the text of it when you start the application, you could do label one, and you can just tell it to set the text equal to oh, there you go, the hello world. Um, and that's just that's just the simple start of it. So at the moment it will it says my label, but as soon as we run it and the form actually loads, it then changes the content from my label to say hello world. So this is a simple um, way that you can create your first application, have a little mess around with it, change the colors, put a background onto it. Um, in the next video I'll show you how to use things like how to use the buttons and the text boxes and um, how to make, how to kind of change label data and, and set it using a text box or using a button. Um, if there's any tutorials in particular you want to see, then you only have to suggest to me uh, what you want. Um, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at uh, studentwindev. Um, it's on the start of the video, and it'll be in the description as well. Um, it does take my time making these kind of videos, and although this is in the beginning ones, they do start to get more complicated and take up a lot more time. So if you're feeling generous, then go ahead and donate. I have actually set a link uh, in the description to a donate page. Every little bit helps. I'm not trying to steal Tesco's phrase, but yeah, okay, guys. Well, thanks for watching the video. Um, there'll be more videos to come soon. The Windows Phone 8 SDK is due out sometime today, so I'll get straight on that as soon as that comes out. And really, I just offer a range of all different developments um, in C Sharp, really. And there'll be a bit of C++ when the Windows Phone 8 comes around. Um, okay, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See ya.